Finally! Oh. Finally what, Thor? Oh, we got better amulets! I got mine today. Look we have me. amulets? Good yeah, amulets? wearing one IRL right now. It gives me six pierce as opposed to four, and it gives me a... Well, it gives me a different amount of resist depending on what school I am, but overall, it's better. That's insane, this one you're wearing. That one that I'm wearing right now. Also yes. Also in-game. Show up! I have resist and six pierce. Show off my balances. Let's look at your balances as well. Show my balances, because I did a little something different. Ten Ooh. damage! So, the crazy thing about these new amulets you get at level 170 in Wallaroo is, for the first time ever, you're able to get a circle socket on an amulet, which has always been tied to only, like, health, tears, and square socket. So, you can get a circle gem for damage or pierce now. We recommend three pierce, two damage. But, yes. do what you want. Do what you want. The new stats are crazy with the new gear. We don't have everything finalized yet, but it's in the works. But, we're gonna show you today how to and where to farm the new amulets for Walru, the Dream Reaver. Yes, because before you screw with these gems, you're gonna need the amulet, and we got a round one instant kill tech for you. Let's port on over and get the quest line started because this is a side quest. Bor, Core. are there any prerequisites to get this pre-quest? There actually is. So, you will have to have Billabong Resort unlocked. You'll have to have made it here. And the pre-quest is Thrills and Bills, which is quest 52. As soon as you beat that, you can talk to this lady right here. Little frog lady, not, not, uh... Oh, there's nothing under there. Little frog lady <laughs> in this area, and she is right here on the left side of the Grand Hotel. Since we can't verify it, we're just going to take her word for it that she's a frog <laughs> lady. She is amphibious. There we go. Turn it in. Get the not-so-jolly Rizzer. Is that what that says? Jolly Rizzer? Okay. Now that I'm back to her, as you can see, she is excited. Quite. So, help! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Tiki mask. So pretty much her jewels, her power jewels, have been stolen. By Crash the Bandit Coot. Crash the Bandit Coot. Which is... I freaking love Crash. I love this reference. Prepare for background Crash music. <laughs> there. They, I love how they tie in like other games and forms of media into the storyline. Whoever came up with this, mwah, she got her gem stolen by Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> yeah, like, come on, like that's brilliant. So you go and talk to this person here, Jim Pickett, and you're like, hey, you seen any jewels? No, I've never seen jewels. And they're like, oh, no. Nah. The Tiki masks? Aku, Aku, Hoobadaga, 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 Hoobadaga. I can't tell you where I got him from. No, I didn't get him from Crash and his cave and Wobble Bong territory and uh, 3478 Wallaby Way. Six. And here's his birth certificate, and here is his address, and here is his longitude and latitude and birthday again. <laughs> <laughs> kind of just lets all that slip out. And so then you're like, okay, I know exactly where Crash's cave is. It's in Wobble Bong territory. Wobble Bong. And this is, is that not how you say it? Wobblegong Wobble Territory. Wobblegong. It's right here, and as you can see, it is Crash themed. What do you think? I about freaking that? love the Tinkies! I love Crash Bandicoot! I love this so much. Get in here. We'll show them how to round one this fight. Whoa! <laughs> That's what he'll say. He'll say whoa! Whoa! And he doesn't have a he doesn't have a Tiki flying around, so he will not respawn. Dialogue, yada yada. Okay, one thing is that this fight pulls you from like way back here. There's like one little dot on the floor. Once you get to it, it's pulling you farther than most normal fights. Yeah. So if you don't want to be in the front three, you need to stay back till everyone else gets in. <laughs> yeah, you were close. I was very close. So we're going to show you the tech on how to kill this super quick. By super quick, we mean before he even gets a turn. But first of all, make sure you're in a group so you go first with your four gang of friends. Cork, select your spells on both of your wizards, please. Okay. And let's see here. Mm-hmm. 
So that is a Bunyip Rage. Almost max spell element. That is a feint. That is a potent feint. And this is a mass feint. You get to go first if you're all in a group. So you'll go first. You will have no chance to respond to any of this because his cheats don't involve anything with traps or blades, whatnot. All it is is school pips. If he gets so many, he hits you with that school, rank 10. So this is... Does not matter. Does not matter. This is the standard mode, by the way. Don't do challenge. But like, who? What are you going? We got every single amulet from standard mode. You can get every drop the same in standard mode. It's the same. Do not waste your time with challenge. Unless you mode. want a challenge. If you want a challenge, do it. That's I'll, on you. If I'll, you want the challenge, I'll, I'll say I'm that. okay with it being easy. <laughs> Let's see how much damage this does. Let's say whoa. Little baby. Whoa. Oh, Twenty-one thousand round one. And we killed the misbehaving mutts. And you can do this indefinitely without worrying about dying. Check so the drop, boy. Dream board. water. You got a da 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 da. I, that's all you I got. You didn't get the you didn't get the amulet. All I got. But the good thing is, right here, a second chance chest spawns. The first roll is only twenty five crowns. Can you believe that? I'll throw a couple here. Warper is the B tier. You do not want. Warper. You want the Dream Reaver. You want is what Reaver. you want. Hopefully, I can get one here. There's another Warper. You don't want that. Another Warper. You don't want that. Spell limits. Another Warper. You don't want that. Another <laughs> pin. Uh, there's a Reaver. So this is the life new amulet. It's bold dream reaver amulet. Every school will just be their first word is the school and everything else is dream reaver. Yeah. So get the reaver. If you got the warper, throw it away. You don't even need the B tier to craft the A tier now. All you need are the reagents. Yes. I love Wallaroo! Wallaroo, we love the system you've put in place for farming. So not only is this the best place to farm, the, this is the only place to farm the amulet. I'm going to go and down, go ahead and lock this down. 100% confirm. Best place to farm the dream water as well because you can round one it. And it's the only place I know of to get legendary socket wrenches that you can save 200 crowns per piece of gear. If you need to farm dream water, <laughs> if you need to farm the amulets, this right here is the place to come to. Just get in a group of four. You don't even have to be maxed out, Storm, like we are. Um, if we you, did if you, this before we had the new gear. We did this with just Aeon and pretty comfy. He only has, what, 15, 18 something thousand health. We overkilled by 2,000. If you're having trouble, you can always cantrip in a dual striker restoring range. And if you're not in the guild either, at very worst with this strat, you're round twoing him. Very, yeah. At very worst, you can still round two him. I love this. So after this fight, the crafter comes up and you can craft. This one is mine. So my school would go from four to five resist. Four, four to, to nine. Six pierce. Yeah, yeah. Go up five. Five resist. And then go up 300 health. Ice gets the best new amulet, and the amulet is the best piece of gear from this update. And Ice's blade is 45. Ice Here gets the best crap? That'll we almost make stuff. a difference. Poor. This has been a tremendous episode of Core and Bortek. The techiest. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do